that you have to be fairly well versed in the game to do well against. Yeah, in this meta, you. And, and well. then if that doesn't work, I have this other whack character that can just camp you. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna see a big combo coming out. Only 16% off that grab. Yeah. Here's the Lucina though, not yeah. uh, playing the Falcon DDD. Or seems I heard correctly. Might not want to play Falcon because uh, I have played Alphans a lot with Falcon, so he he definitely knows that. I see. I see. He knows the matchup really well. And Lucina's just solid. Lucina's always going to be solid. Yeah, and it, he might just be more comfortable in this matchup. Lucina, that sword is going to allow her to do at least decently versus all of the Pokemon. Yeah. Can... But a quick 86%. We see Ivysaur. This is the uh, it's kind of the Alpha Kings classic. It's throw Razor Leaves until you do something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's that's also really good against a character like Lucina, right? Because it wants to play like sort of in mid-range. You can kind of just keep back a little bit with Razor Leaves. And then as they're coming in space around with backer or forward air. Yeah, definitely. And the Charizard coming out now. Alfkin's definitely one of those players not afraid to let uh, some weird options rip every now and again. And he... Yeah. See the up throw? Yeah. I think forward throw also would have killed there. Yeah. Back on the Squirtle. Okay, 100% we're going to see the switch. Yeah. Alfkin's doesn't like being on Squirtle past uh, about 80. It's, you don't want to lose such an early stock. Squirtle, That's true. Squirtle's the third latest character in the game. That's true, yeah. Getting a, a forward smash or even like a forward tilt near the edge of the stage might KO you. All right, that's big damage. We're going to see advantage state. That's one spot where Pokemon Trainer has uh, a pretty good time against Lucina is in advantage. Pokemon Trainer definitely likes being underneath Lucina. For sure, and you get so much, especially as a character like Ivysaur with all the up airs. Yeah, and we've seen 74% already on Zorango. Yeah. You can cover so much horizontal space, oh, too. Oh, that's a true wow. combo, brother. Nice. <laughs> really good confirm. And this is this huge. Oh, okay, you missed the, missed the second one. That would have been a quick 50. Yeah, the Ivysaur is doing so much work. Yeah, his Ivysaur is very strong. Yeah, as, as soon as he's just far enough All away, right, the down air the just misses. Room. Good up B from Zorango, going low enough, but up B off the ledge. I'll see you later. Yeah. 83%, it's already scary, especially yeah. against 130 Rage. He look, might be dead. Look at the struggle that he's having in neutral with Lucina. Every time he's like forward airing oh or neutral airing. Oh my area. gosh, dude. That last stock was correct option after correct option it after was. correct option. And I think we're going to see a switch from Durango. That did not go how he wanted it to. That was a three stock, right? Yeah. Dang. That's rough. It, and the the neutral was just really hard for him to overcome. Yeah. He's always picking like either Razor Leaf versus like the neutral air or forward air if he's far enough away. If he's far enough away to where like the, the back air is going to beat out the neutral air or forward air, he did that. Yeah. Anytime he's above him, he did the up air strings. Just rough. And I think honestly, um, Pokemon trainer. oh, he's sticking with it. Okay. Okay. One of the big things that we've seen from the players who are winning versus the players who are losing is how much mileage they're getting out per stock. Mm -hmm. We've been seeing everyone who's winning living to 130, you know, 140, 150, sometimes up to 180. Yeah. And it's because Three, two, one, leads go. are able to spiral so much in this game. Yeah. Especially when you have a character like Squirtle and Ivysaur who just get 80 off their starting combo, right? For sure. So if you lose that first stock, you might just be 60% behind. Yeah. I think a lot of that has to do with, like, a little bit of lack of edge guarding from the opponent that's not closing out some of these stocks. Yeah. Which is easier said than done for sure, right? No, absolutely. Like, some of these characters, especially with uh, the way he's been Oh, my gosh, Ivysaur. dude. He's catching everything. Good early upbeat from Zorango to not die there. <laughs> Almost dying to that Razor Leaf. Just misses the grab. And finally, it's Zorango's turn. He's going to go deep. Oh, man, he almost got down aired there. That was insane. He's got the plane right now. Yeah, at least here he's, like, threatening some offstage presence, right, between uh, trying to do that triple forward air. Yeah, yeah, He's got to do that just a little bit more to at least, like, threaten certain options and force him to recover low or recover high. Absolutely. One of the scary things about Ivysaur is if you miss the edge guard, yeah. now Ivysaur Dare is coming to get you, yeah. right? And we saw that almost in the first stock. He missed the forward air. Yeah, that being said, you know, daring Lucina is not always... Not always the easiest thing ever. But again, we're seeing an all right start from Zorango. Just dodges that up smash. The up B. Oh, oh well. Wow. All right, he just does it. He thought he got him. <laughs> yeah. All right, the forward air coming out doesn't quite kill. He's going to stay at the ledge. Nice. Yep. Going close enough to where the up B can push him off stage. Oh, oh, missing. I guess he wants to go forward smash there. Yeah, forward smash likely would have confirmed. Yeah, right. first the neutral air is super Doesn't solid. Doesn't go off stage to get the Charizard. Wants the counter. 
Yeah, feels a little bit closer Ooh, to stage. Up B taking the first dog though already better than the last game. We see the gamer lean coming in from Zarango. He's in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but the down there, wow. as soon as we mention it, man. That and is it actually so good. skips the Squirtle. We go right to the Ivysaur. I mean, just based off how that first game went, I think Ivysaur is definitely the play, right? Like, he was just beating yeah, him in, in so I, many situations. I think, you know, as a Pokemon trainer main, you can find which one of the three Pokemon people are bad against. Yeah. And then the matchup might not even matter. It might just be a player matchup that you figured out, right? Because mm -hmm. you can kind of counterpick mid-game. Mid yeah. So I think even though, you know, maybe on paper, Squirtle does all right against Lucina, uh, you know, Alfkin's is just finding that Ivysaur has been the pick versus Zorango. For sure. All right, this is the down air. Good recovery from Zorango, but finding himself behind right now. For how explosive of a start he has, it's pretty much back to even. He's finding him trapped a lot in these uh, in the ledge situations. Ooh. Ivysaur's just been doing such a good job keeping center stage. Oh, and he actually called out the switch, but ended up missing, and it cost him his stock. Mm -hmm. That's a rough way to go, man. And yeah. that's, that's something that's big, too, you see uh, between a lot of you know mid-level and high-level players is how much they let that affect them. Because Zorango knows, like, he would have been an advantage if he had got the read that he actually got. Yeah. But instead he lost his stock, and that hurts, man. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're already down a game and now taking 50% from Squirtle. That's where Squirtle really hurts. These low, low percent situations when you're up a stock, now suddenly you're down a half a stock as well. And yeah, and the Ivy Sword just forward. starts killing you. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's what makes this character so good, man. Off stage again. Again, Ooh, a really good okay. early up B. That's saving him in these situations. I'm. Oh no, the SD. I was gonna say, I'm curious to see if Alfkins catches on to the next one, because that was two in a row. Yeah. Uh, where he went early. And you can definitely get a big punish if you read that, especially, you know, jump off stage, jump back to the ledge shield. You can I, definitely bait that out. I like that he did go out there a few times in the in the 